Sam, your first game and uh, full game in, in quite a while. How are you feeling? Pretty knackered, to be honest with you. Um, you, know, you can do as much fitness as you like on the pitch, but the game fitness is completely different. And, uh, no, it's good to get through the 80, but I'm pretty tired now. It was a tough game out there. There was plenty of tapping for you back. Yeah, it was. Um, it wasn't you know, it wasn't the most pretty game. So you know, there's a lot of defence involved. It's, it's good for me to get my, um, you know, I'm trying to get my hitting back and get my footwork going. But um, it's all right, to be honest. So, I'm happy with it. You captain the side as well, so lots of young talent on show yeah. out there, wasn't they? Yeah, no, it's encouraging. You know, there's a lot of the, uh, the academies. Um, it's got a lot of great youngsters coming through, and it's uh, really encouraging for the club. And, you know, I think you saw a little bit of that on show today. Unfortunately, you know, with the, with the, um, the game as it was, and the guys couldn't show it to all, all their great talents, but you know, just still see glimpses. Obviously, you're trying to get back into the team now for the European games in the next couple of weeks. Do you think you did enough tonight to maybe put your hand up and say today that you want to be in that team? Yeah, I don't know. You know, I, I can all I can do is try my hardest. Um, just, you know, on and off the pitch, um, in the gym, in training, etc. You know, if I make the call, then that's fantastic for me. If not, I just have to work harder next week. So, you, you guys looking forward to getting back into European action this week? Yeah, you know, it's, it's a nice change of scene. I think. Um, you know, it's obviously it's, it's great to be trying to fight on, uh, on on all fronts, and playing the French side is a bit different to the Premiership, so it's, it's a fresh change. It's nice. Thanks, Tom. Rob, not the best game of rugby, but a useful run out nonetheless. Yeah, it's good to get a first hit out. There's a lot of guys there that obviously been training really hard the last few weeks. Uh, guys have been sitting on the bench. Uh, like Chris Mayer, the front row guys, um, and they needed rugby. Uh, it wasn't, as you say, it wasn't a great game to watch, but it's great for those guys to get hit out, and I thought we played really well for the first hour away from home, and then we just lost momentum in the last 20 minutes. A really encouraging performance for like, so Joe Burton, who really uh, got his hands on the ball, and Dan Waldock in the centre. There must be lots of positives. That's right, we know what Joe Burton's all about. He's a great ball carrier on the front foot, and we just want to get him into those positions in the games, you know. He's getting a bit of time off the bench here and there for the first team, but he needs the game time, uh, so it's great to see him on the front foot. As you mentioned, Don Wall got back from injury, 80 minutes under his belt. He had 20 minutes a couple of weeks ago in the LV, so he's building on that. And also Sam Jones coming back from injury as well. And I thought um, Sam, along with Joe Burton and, and uh, Matt Everard, back row performed really well today. Do you think a lot of those players put their hands up for selection for this weekend? Yeah, well that's right. You obviously we haven't got a big squad and. Um, the guys that are playing, uh, they're playing week in, week out, and there's tired guys and there's, there's knocks here and there. So um, I think the guys did uh, put their hands up, and uh, there's going to be a lot of competition for places, which is very healthy for us. What's the mood in the camp like this week? It's helps hard to come in off a loss, but a new, fresh competition this weekend was to kind of help the team move forward. That's right, it's always nice moving into a new competition, it's a new challenge. Um, so we'll have a look at Bordeaux, um, and uh, especially going away from France, that always uh, focuses the mind because it's, it's going to be tough out there. Um, but everyone's staying positive, you know, we're very disappointed in the manner of the defeat. Uh, I think it was a real giveaway, actually. We had so much possession, we had so much good stuff that we did. And we're obviously disappointed with some of the decisions that went against us. But there's things that we need to sort out. And uh, we're very positive with the things we're doing well. And we sort of work on that going uh, into uh, the European competition now. And you've been taking the defence, I know, a lot over the summer while Sean was away. And now with him moving on, will you be continuing in that role, taking on a bit more of a defensive um, coaching element? Yeah, that's right. Unfortunately, Sean's gone. I think we're, you know, everyone's disappointed about that. He, you know, we're very privileged to have worked with him. And he's you know, such a great influence on all of us. So hopefully I just carry on. I've learned a lot of him. And I just carry on working with the defence and uh, hoping that um, we perform well in defence uh, for the rest of the season.